Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation. In this video, I am going to discuss the other two steps of networking steps model. Step 5, which is super connection and step 6, which is follow up and maintaining the relationships. Step 5 Super Connection What is Super Connection? Networking with people you have strong connections with. And who is Super Connector for you? Super Connector has a big role in your professional and personal life. There are many people in your network, but you do not have strong connections or ties with all of them. You have strong ties only with people who are important for you valuable for your professional and personal life. For example, there are 200 people in your network, but you have strong connections only with 20 people. These 20 people are your super connectors. In your professional field, super connectors are not just people who know a lot of people. They are the people with talent for making friends and links whatever they go. A super connector is a person who maintains contact with many people in your field or area. Super connectors have superpowers. They have the power to provide real benefits that make a difference. They give a gift of connectivity. They are influential. These individuals always take your call, value you, and respect your opinion. Super connector constantly leads you towards potential opportunities, especially for your career. It's beneficial and vital to have super connections, connectors in your network. Super connectors are superior networkers. They have superior relationship building skills and powerful sphere of influence. They are capable of creating the right associations with just one introduction. They maintain contact with several people in your field. So you must identify and recognize who are the super connectors for you. Super connectors are people's person. They are positive approach to bridging connections and networking mindsets comes naturally to them. So they become like a people's person. They act as an informal broker. Super connector knows how to effectively gather details information from different sources to provide solutions and benefit all parties. From weak connector to super connector. Sometimes weak connectors may be more important for job searching. We know that strong connectors are important for direct and easily accessible sources of information and serve as an important motivation for social integration. And weak connectors are the resources of opportunities. But by keeping active connection with them, gradually weak connectors may turn into super connectors. Some contribution combination of strong net connection and weak connection is more effective in various forms of market integration. It is important to identify your super connectors for you and keep regular contact with them by following their activities, joining common events and sending emails. This is an effective way to have more contact or network and emphasize mutual connections. Thus, in the course of time, anyone can become a super connector for others as well. For example, for an immigrant job seeker, it would be good to make strong connection with their mentors, language teachers, facilitators, and contact them as a super connectors. How to develop a super connection? To develop a super connection, it is important to make a list of possible super connector people. You need to identify the important uh, people uh, for you from your informal and formal connections. For example, from formal connections, uh, friends of families, friends of uh, children's uh, families, voluntary work, hobbies, and community friends. And from inform, uh, formal connections, 
um, super connectors might be mentors, language teacher, facilitators, colleagues. After making a list of super connected people, it would be good to follow their activities, such as events, gatherings, seminars, classes, community, and voluntary works. Joining common events. Once you have the list of people of super connector and their possible activities, it is good to join events to learn to know super connectors. Aim to transform a weak connection into a strong connection. Repetition. Regular participation in events of your field is a good option to make super connection. You will meet the same people frequently and can grow a good relationship with them. Try to meet people also outside official events. Send them emails, ask for coffee or lunch meeting. Share articles, events, open positions for people of your network who might be interested in. Network is a two-way street. It is possible to be a super connecting person for others also and give them uh, before you ask for favor or help. Offer and give tips for their network if you cannot help. Recommend someone else. Share your networks. Be a connector of people. And remember, networking is not always for job seeking or career wise, but also for making a good friend. Step six, follow up and maintenance the, maintaining the relationships. Follow up is an important step of successful networking. Timely and effective follow up improves skills and creates more opportunities for job seekers. Lack of follow up is one of the main reasons why someone fails to build a network and develop a relationship with others. Regular follow up is important for showing your interest. It is, uh, it convinces also others to build effective uh, connections. To grow your network, do not treat people like one-time solutions of problems. Follow-up creates opportunities and arranges time uh, to meet again and continue the connection. You must aim to make long-lasting connections. The beauty of networking when done right is an excellent tool to ensure that uh, connections remain for a long time. When to follow up? Follow up timely. Timely and effective follow up strengthens uh, skills and reputation. It creates more opportunities for job seekers. Sending a message within one to two days after your discussion is a strategic act that you need to start the real relationship or to maintain momentum and build upon your initial contact. Follow up regularly. Remember that networking is also like a game and there are lots of players. If you stop playing before the game has started even, then there is no way to win and the other players will move on ahead without you. Regular follow-up helps to convince others to build an effective network. Develop relationships. Staying connected helps to develop relationships and contacts, which can be a great help in the job search. Lack of timely follow-up and forgetting to collect information from people are the main obstacles to effective networking. Look for continuous opportunities to reconnect and develop relationships. Maintaining relationship. How to maintain the network or relationship? You can maintain network by organizing and prioritizing connections. The first step to maintaining your professional network is to get your current connections organized. Think about who you want to stay in touch with most and how being connected with them benefits you. Then group them into categories such as potential colleagues, influ influentials, friends, former classmates and members, members of professional associations. Regroup and audit your contact. The most important part of maintaining your network is the ongoing maintenance. 
Every six months or so, you should get the document out and perform an audit. Remove contacts uh, who you who are no longer relevant and uh, new ones add and update people's information. It's a good idea to meet face to face with uh, your long term priority connections. Schedule a dinner, uh, lunch or um, happy hour to catch up and keep those priority relationships alive. Make long lasting connect connections. Nobody wants to feel like you only talk to them when you need something. In order to ask for favor from uh, your contact, you need to stay in touch even when you don't need them. Showing and authentically care about someone goes a long way and it keeps your name on top of their minds when the opportunities come up. Instead of connecting um, priority people in moments of need, um, interact with them regularly in a subtle manner. Whenever we give, it comes back to us. Keep continuous connections with the people of your current network. In other words, keep your network alive. Maintaining a good relationship always mutually beneficial. Tools for follow-up and maintaining relationships. You can follow up and maintain your networks, for instance, Send an email a couple of times a year. Congratulate them on success with a thoughtful message. Take action on news that makes you think of them. Schedule a coffee or lunch date every quarter. Follow up by calling. You can make a thank you call to keep your network alive. General tips of making a successful follow up calls are Call in the middle of the week. Avoid calling too much. Sound cheerful. Look for a new time or event. Follow up by giving business card. Business cards are the staple of networking success. It would be good to keep your business cards up to date. Give your business card to someone only when they ask for your contact. Always make a comment about the card when you received it. Sending someone greetings on special days can create a sense of well-being for the receiver and improve the relationship. Writing, giving, or posting a greeting card, the recipient knows they have been given some of the sender's precious time. The psychology of greetings cards uh, has a lot to do with self-esteem and self-worth. You can make a follow-up chart to maintain your network. There are so many sources related to follow up and maintaining the relationships of your network. I have added some of them here. Thank you.